Hello, it's Erica and welcome again to another one of our demonstrations for Demo Plus. And today I'm going to show you how to make this space scene with acrylic paint and stamps. So it's one I did um, a couple of demos back, but I'd been asked to, to show you more in more close up how to achieve the effect. I'm using the set of stamps uh, from Creative Stamping Magazine and they're called Up in the Air. It's, it is online, it is on our website. So I've used the rocket ship, the stars, the words, you're out of this world and that's it. So first of all, I've painted a background. I've already painted this for speed. Um, now I've used one of the I've used one of the special edition paints from Seth Apter called Midnight. I, I am aware they're no longer available. They were limited. They were very limited edition. Um, if you haven't got that colour, I would suggest a, um, a dark blue mixed with black to achieve the same kind of colour. I didn't want black because black I think would have been too stark. So that just that hint of blue just takes the edge off of it. So first of all, I'm just going to pull my palette into the corner here so you can see it. First of all, we're going to start with the cosmic kind of, um, I don't know, it's a kind of weird light that you get on when you look at space pictures. So to do that, I'm going to use a light colour. I'm going to use Mermaid. Just squeeze a little bit out because we only want a small amount and I'll use a little bit of dolly mix we're using all light pastel colors because they're the ones that are going to stand out most against the dark background and I'm going to use a spritzer and spritz a little bit of water but you can see you want a really liquidy colour and we're just going to put waft on some kind of kind of uh, cosmic kind of mishmash you know the way that the sometimes you get on pictures and you've got that kind of weird kind of fog now if it's too much Just with a cloth you can just take some of it off and again this helps with the whole effect if you can see that you can see like a, a real kind of misty foggy let me just get some water you get a real misty foggy look to it and Obviously this on its own is just going to look a mess. It's, trust me when I say, it's what you build up afterwards as we go. So put a, a little bit extra in the middle. So it's building up some kind of uh, galaxy. That's the word. We're building a galaxy in the sky. So it'll all look... I'll put my water over here so I'm not reaching over every time. So it'll all look a bit weird to start with, but you have to trust me. I know what I'm doing. So we're going to heat that. So hopefully you can see that you're starting to get some kind of foggy kind of cluster of stars building in the background. So the next thing is to get the little, the little speckly stars. And for this I'm going to use, oh, get it around the right way, the Distress Spatter Brush. I just like using this because you can control it a bit more. I mean, you could use a toothbrush, but I find this is more controllable. So again, we'll, we'll start with the colours that we've already got. 
So you do want them watered down. You might need a bit more water. So I'm starting with the Dolly Mix colour and then just spattering our cosmic stars. You can see it's starting to really look space-like. So you can do it either way, you can do it this way or you can do it that way. I find it easier to control that way. So I'd like to get some other colours in there so I'm going to use a little bit of that light mermaid and then maybe some yellow and orange so we've got different coloured stars because I don't know about you but I, when I look at those pictures you can see lots of different colours within them so that's enough of that one because I don't want to overdo it I'm ideally I would love to wash this brush every time uh, we because I'm being lazy I'm just giving it a wipe so let's just dry that now I'm drying it so I, all the colors don't bleed into each other we want to keep them all separate so we'll clear that bit away and we'll go for a bit of shake it up yellow and oh let's go red let's go extreme colors so we've got yellow and we've got red so spritz water on them get them nice and loose oops that's my rocket ship for later see you don't need a lot but what I like about this you get big spots and you get little spots which really add to the interest I think finally just the yellow and then we'll be done all the wet wipe was easier to clean with so here's my final yellow hopefully because it's a translucent I'll have to be heavier with it trying to get some more in that center there we go so I think we're we're done there I'll just dry that see what it looks like Now, you could leave it at this stage if you just wanted a space uh, space background, but for this one, I'm going to use the stars as well, just because this is a children's card and um, you can afford to be a little bit more, um, what's the word, cartoony by using the real stars. So, I'm just going to get the white fire love this color it just gives a nice shimmer and using the technique that I love with paints I spread it out thinly spread it out thinly on the non-stick sheet Oops. and then just pick a small amount of it up onto the stamp and then stamp with it and then you just get a very delicate shimmer you can see how little you use I've almost got too much the good news is even if they don't come out perfect it doesn't really matter just spread that out again might get two out, yeah you can 
get two stampings out of it and then you'll have brighter and quieter stars that's looking quite cosmic now right so that's the background done I've already got my rocket ship cut out ready um, just to explain I simply painted white fire acrylic paint onto a piece of card and then I stamped on top in versifying black I like to do it that way because all the detail stays absolutely perfect um, acrylic paint will obviously obliterate any detail so when you do it the other way round not only do you not have to be very careful painting in you can it's you can get all of your detail because all of those little rivets would have to be covered up so by doing it that way but one thing you have to bear in mind is that you heat set it before you touch it because it will always stay a little bit wet or at least for a day so what I do is I heat set it and then it's perfectly dry so that's my rocket ship ready to go into space the other thing was the moon shape So the other thing is the moon shape. I've simply punched it out of white card and now I'm going to give a little kind of moon shadow effect to it. So I'm just using a little bit of black. Very little bit. And I'm just taking a brush and can you see how little I'm using probably best if I don't actually put it on the piece of work so I'll do it on the side because obviously I'm going to cut this down afterwards so just get a feel for the colour yeah it's looking good so I've just done a kind of really wiggly line like it was under shadow and then with a thinner brush I'm just going to do some kind of craters in the surface so they're all being caught on that one line so we're thinking of shadow oops messed that up so we've got some dots in there and just give it some texture Okay, I'm just going to dry that, otherwise I won't get anywhere with it. And then for a nice little aftertouch, if you have really, really watered down white fire, you can paint it on top and it just gives it a shimmer you don't really get too much of the colour you just get that mica kind of shimmer to it hopefully you can see that it's just got a little you know when things are in space they catch the light and they tend to shine 
alle um. So there we go, it's got a little bit of shimmer. Now that's dry, I want to stamp the words on it and this is the wonderful thing about clear stamps is you can see exactly where you're going. It will be a little bit more tricky with a stamp that is rubber. So both of them have their own plus and minuses. Whoop, throwing it away. So here we go. We're stamping the words on to our moon and it just says you're out of this world. Just give it a little press inside and flick it off and fabulous. So there we go. That is our moon with our rocket ship orbiting. Obviously afterwards I will cut it down and mount it onto a card. So just to show you again, this is our finished one. So thank you very much and uh, hope to see you again.